hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you all how i make my hair oils the oil i use on my hair which enables my hair to grow faster so i'm gonna be showing you how i make my ayurveda oils these are actually ayurveda oils so begin with um these are the um equipment i'm gonna be using first is my sieve, the silver uh, metallic blades then with a sieve then um this is my jamaican black castor oil it is very important i use it in all of my hair um, hair routine it's very important to use your castor oil because it has a lot of hair benefits okay then after that i'm going to be showing you how everything is done so this is a little of caca oil um i'm going to be infusing it into the oils as well so there is something you all must know about my um hair oils i made the research and i use different kinds of oils which um, naturally aids in the distribution of hair growth okay which aids in hair growth so among the oils i use is this avocado oil although it's almost finished i have just little left which i'm gonna have to restock then i also use my cold pressed coconut oil cold pressed coconut oil you see that is why it is clear the hot pressed is not going to be as clear as this so the cold pressed is usually um, very clear you can see it inscribed on the body cold pressed so if you're looking at um, using coconut oil for your hair ensure it you're using a cold pressed coconut oil majority of the oils you'll be using like the olive oil the coconut oil the avocado oil ensure it is cold pressed so this is my ayurveda um, mix um, you might be wondering what is inside this container. Well, for one, in this container, I have a moringa powder, I have neem powder, and I have a little bit of um, shebe powder. Just a little bit, a very minute quantity of shebe powder. So I actually infuse this. I have made a video of how I prepare this infusion. You might want to check the link on um, the description box above um, to check how I make my Ayurveda oil. So this is actually the Moringa, Neem and Shebe mix. I infused this using coconut oil and olive oil. I left it to sit on a shelf for three, to one, three weeks to one month. Yes, yeah, so I soaked it with my coconut oil and um, my olive oil and i let it to sit for three weeks to one month but alternatively on those days i ensure i shake them to mix all the particles together so the oil will infuse properly so that the, the vitamins or the essentials i need from the um, from the leaves or the powder to infuse properly into the oil and this here is my fenugreek oil this is fenugreek oil in this small container here fenugreek oil i um, had a blended um, fenugreek powder then I soaked it or infused it with coconut oil and olive oil I let it sit for some weeks as well then after that I sieved it and this is how I got my um, fenugreek oil fenugreek oil has a lot of hair benefits a lot of hair benefits if you check google you're gonna see fenugreek is very good for your hair it aids in hair growth it aids in a whole lot of things and there's something i want you all to understand in the course of me using these oils i before now i usually have dandruffs on my hair but all this eradicates dandruff of any sort if you're battling with lies dandruff on your hair and you use all of this hair mix this oil mix this ayurveda mix trust me that's gonna be the end of that dandruff or lice or any other hair irritations you might be having so now these are the things i'll be using you can see i have my coconut oil ayurveda, um, aloe vera oil i have the fenugreek uh, mix i have my caca oil i have um, my jamaican black castor oil so now that uh, moringa mix which oh, my ayurveda mix which i showed you all earlier on so here is me um sieving the particles out remember i told you all that i had it um sit on a shelf for a month so after it has sit on the shelf now it is time for me to drain out the infused oils so this is me, me sieving out the oils from the particles 
this is how I sieve them. Well, I'm going to be double sieving in order to remove all the excess particles. So this is the first sieve. So when you're sieving, you ensure that you sieve properly and the particles doesn't get into the oil. This is so that when you're using the oil, the particles doesn't sit in your hair. So the particles doesn't sit in your hair. That is the reason why you need to sieve properly. Me feel I'm home. I, I was talking to you on my road Cause I don't want to scare the love and shine like chrome I wish, I wish I was on my road Heading to you cause you made me feel I'm home I, wish I was talking to you on my road Cause I don't want to scare the love and shine like chrome How do you fix a broken person? Eh? Do you fix a broken person, eh? How? Do you know that I'm so broken, eh? How? Can I love without me breaking, No, the one and drag away, so he gon' take it And him dead, I don't know what they mean He don't get to no more in on it Walking down the streets, telling myself it's okay But you know that I'm too weak and I'm not okay Remedy on my hands, I just need to go to work, eh? But I'm another one, but I'm not a man, I'm not a different, okay? So here is my second sieve, second filtration, if you might call it that way. So I'm also ensuring um, the particles are not included in the oil. This is so as to have a smooth um, result at the end of the day. So you all, this is the result. This is the final result after the saving. You can see the oil, right? Yeah. So that is the um, Ayurveda mix oil which I talked about, which you saw us um, sieving, which you saw me sieving rather. So now I'm going to be having to add some other essential oils to it. Yes, another important thing you might have to note here is that, you see, I didn't add all the essential oils um, before sieving um, my Ayurveda oil. 
I ensured I sift first so the other nutrients and essential oils you'll be putting will serve as nourishment, as a vitamin to the exact oil you'll be using on your hair so you won't have to sieve it out with the powder. Okay, so I added the caca oil first. You can see I added a very little um, quantity because normally they're going to tell you don't add it to your scalp, but it works for me. So I add it just in a little quantity and now this is my avocado oil. So I'm adding all of the avocado oils because I don't really have much left. So these are the oils I use and mind you, avocado oil contains a lot of protein and protein is actually good for your hair and it has other great health benefits other great hair benefits um, rather so this is my black jamaican castor oil so i'm also going in with it i don't do anything on my hair without my black castor oil it is very important so that is the um, castor oil going in so that is it i ought to have added some other oils but i realized i ran out of um, the other oils such as the mint oil and others so that is why you see me here making use of this virgin fertilizer um to use or to um so that's why you see me using it as a substitute for the uh, mint oil this actually has um sulfur particles or sulfur content in it which um hits the, the the scalp it has this tingling feeling when you apply it to your scalp and i love that feeling because it actually helps in um hair growth when you use something with mint or um or um, alcohol or menthol not alcohol actually when you use a ment menthol rather yeah that's the word when you use menthol on your hair it assists in the um, hair growth because it boosts it boosts hair, hair growth yeah <laughs> so after i must have added that you can see me mixing it you ensure you mix it properly because that was kind of a solid particle together with liquid particle in form of oil so you have to shake properly to mix it so this is majorly how I prepare my um, my hair oils or my um, av uh, Ayurveda oils. Okay, it's actually nothing difficult. It's not um, it's it's not too big or too um, too difficult to make. It's just a matter of you getting the um, right ingredients or right. Um, materials you need for it okay so like i said previously if you want to check on how i make my um ayurveda mix or my ayurveda infusion like i said there is a link which is going to show up on your screen so you just click on the link to watch how i make um my ayurveda infusions because that is in fact that is what i use on my hair from the first day i said i decided to go natural from the first day that is what I've been using on my hair till now. So for like a year now, I have been doing this and it works perfectly for my hair. And I don't have any lies. I don't have any dandruff on my hair. No hair infection. It works perfectly well. So you might also need to try it. Okay. Thank you.